Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Nicki Minaj has gotten quite a bit of backlash after attending this year's carnival in Trinidad. And most of the backlash she got was because of her husband, Kenneth Petty. Now, Nicki Minaj showed up to Carnival in this elaborate blue and purple feathery outfit, which I thought was a fabulous look for her. Her stylist DeAndre Tristan actually styled her, and I thought he did a great job because she looked great. So she showed up at the Carnival with her husband, Kenneth Petty, and when she got there, she was just standing around and smiling, and some of the Trinidadians were looking at her like, why is she not dancing and enjoying herself? What's going on with her? Why is she acting proud? Now, I will say this, based off of my assessment, I think Nicki Minaj is more of a homebody. I don't think she likes large crowds like that. She will step out every once in a while, but I think she prefers to be around people that she knows, and she prefers to be in the comfort of her own home. And that probably explains why she was a little bit more subdued, but she still went to Carnival because she wanted to have fun and enjoy her culture. However, while she was there, her husband did something that turned a lot of people off. While Nikki was standing in the booth, another artist named Iwer George, who is a popular soca artist in Trinidad, tried to interact with her, but Nikki's husband, Kenny, shoved the man away. Watch this video. When I first saw this video, I was like, really? Why is Kenny so uptight all the time? Why did he push that man away? I don't get it. At this point, I'm starting to think that Nicki Minaj actually pays Kenny to protect her. Like she gives him a salary because there's no way that he's doing the most like that for no reason at all. I think he's actually getting paid to be her part-time security guard and he takes his position very seriously. But there's a time and a place for everything. He could be a protective husband without being disrespectful. And I thought he was being a little disrespectful when he pushed Iwer's arm out the way. Iwer is not just some random person trying to invade Nikki's space. He was literally trying to be friendly, but Kenneth Petty decided to be petty and push his arm out the way. <laughs> and when people saw this, they were upset. This actually prompted Nikki to apologize on her husband's behalf. She said this, he don't understand anything about our culture. I apologize on his behalf. He's always in security mode. All love, love my country to death, love my people to death, period. And she also replied to someone else and said, you are right, I should have told him it's a very comfortable family atmosphere. He's never been to a carnival in his life, not even in Brooklyn, babe. I Were George also came to Nikki and Kenny's defense on Instagram and he said this, while singing, I was trying to engage Nicki Minaj to sing the song. I truly feel that her husband did not know who I was as I was wearing a Tribe Music t-shirt, so he may have thought I was a part of the sound system group. Nicki's husband is not familiar with Trini culture, so he did what any husband would do, and that is to go into protection mode. We all know in Trini, a man must protect his wife, so I didn't stress about his actions. I just continued to sing my song. Nicki is our queen, and that's her husband. We love and respect them all you pat down and let them enjoy the rest of their stay in trinidad and nikki put a praying hands and heart emoji under his post now we thought that whole story about kenneth petty would die down in trinidad but other blogs picked up the story including this uk blog called capital extra and nikki responded to it and said this my husband be all over the blogs and he don't even know it. No social media to see y'all talk about him more than y'all talk about these rappers that's out here doing the most for y'all attention. Child, let me go suck his D cause I could never comment on a regular man this much. People get so mad when they see you happy. Just laugh and keep it pushing. Life is beautiful. She also said this on Instagram. Rappers would kill for this attention, child. Laugh out loud at night. When we go to bed, I say, babe, you was all over the blogs today. He'd be like, oh, word. <laughs> he really don't have social media to see y'all write think pieces about him, child. And I like it. Like it like this. Just like this. <laughs> 
After all that drama, Nicki Minaj did go to St. Jude's home for girls in Trinidad and she donated $25,000 and she also spoke an encouraging message to the girls and I thought that was a really good thing. And I want to donate $25,000 to help the girls. I came to get ideas and you guys gave me a lot of great ideas on creating a building here in Trinidad where, where young people can go to and, and have recreational fun. I've experienced being in a home with, with domestic violence. I've experienced, you know, being at a very difficult crossroad in my life as a teenager. If you have to use my life as a lesson in the fact that there is always better days ahead. Okay, let me move on to a serious topic that really upset me. There's a reality star by the name of Sky Days who is on the show Black Ink Crew, and Sky has had a very rocky relationship with her two sons over the years. Now, if you don't know the backstory to this, when Sky was a teenager, she gave her sons up for adoption and she did not speak to them for 15 years. But a few years ago, she decided to reach out to them and she reconnected with them on Black Ink Crew. Now, her youngest son, Dez, was very receptive to Sky. He hugged her, he embraced her, he even forgave her for leaving him as a child. But the oldest one, Genesis, was very angry with Sky, and they almost came to blows the first time they met. So it was a very dramatic scene, but Genesis was hurt and angry, and Sky didn't really take the initiative to make their relationship any better. I have to be honest, Sky was very selfish in this whole situation because she cared more about exploiting her kids on TV for ratings instead of actually building a relationship with them. Now, the youngest son, Des, had hopes that maybe he could mend his relationship with his estranged mother, but unfortunately, Sky let him down and he eventually started to resent her. Also, he started going in the wrong direction in his life, and it's because he reconnected with Sky. Now, I'm gonna actually play a clip of Sky clashing with her son, Des, and I have to tell you, this clip made me upset. Listen to this. Everything was going good in my eyes. And then it went south. Some girl in my DM talking about you got pregnant. I don't know. I don't know about that. Is the pregnant or not? I don't care. I really came to put a up as bond. You here to get money? You stole from me. She, she called me out. It's my name. She went out her way to hurt me. How many times you steal from people? How many times you stole your body? How many times you did all that? Have I stole from you? Yes, you have. No. Yes, what have I stole from you? What have I stole from all you? All years. You were supposed to be there. You were disrespectful. You, you were stealing to... from. You were stealing from Walmart. It's inside your soul. You're a thief. Did Candace not have to pay for you? You a fraud, you dumbass. What yeah. The... I hate you. I hate you. I wish I would have done what he done. She like she was death on me like. I ain't never had no family member. None of, nobody ever was dead for me. I want to beat this little boy's ass. I wish I would have fought it. Why I ain't swallowing, bitch boy? Why I ain't swallowing, bitch? You know, she, like the she said, I felt some of the was true. Your daddy don't want you. I don't want you. Nobody wants you. And it's like, Ain't nobody ever really tried to come and get me while I was a kid, you feel me? I ain't asked to be here, but you act like I, I wanted to be. Like I like I wanted to be in this situation, wanted to cause you any pain that I put you through. You my mother, I came from you. If I hurt you, I ain't mean to hurt you. If anything, like, why you hurt me? <laughs> Now, I only played the audio in this video, but when I first saw this clip, I was very sad for Dez. It's one thing to be at odds with your parent, but to hear your parents say they don't want you and they wish you were never born is really upsetting. And the saddest thing about all of this is Sky meant every word she said. She meant every word. She wishes she never had children because she doesn't want to deal with the guilt 
of being a terrible mother. Yes, I said it. Sky knows she failed as a mother and she makes excuses for herself to protect her own ego. But at the end of the day, she's a bad mother. Does that mean that she can't grow and change? Of course not. She can change, but she has to want to change. However, it's going to be hard for her to make that change because she knows if she really wants to make a turnaround in her life and in her relationship with her sons, she's going to have to deal with her own internal struggles. And I don't think she's ready to deal with it just yet. But if she wants to save her relationship with her sons, she has to start working on herself first because Sky is very broken and the way that she talks to her kids reflects that. Now, one thing I will say about her sons is they have to show a little bit more respect to their mother. I understand that they're hurting and they're mad, but they don't have to call her out of her name. I think they're nice kids, I really do, but they're broken and their mother is broken as well. So they all need counseling, they all need prayer, and they all need to take the time to heal. They need to heal individually and they also need to heal their relationship. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.